A month ago, Africa received its first delivery of COVID-19 vaccine from the COVAX facility. This kick-started vaccinations as much of the continent. Early lessons from the ongoing COVID-19 vaccination show that Africa's experience in mass vaccination campaigns and robust preparedness and rollout have helped some countries reach a large proportion of the target population. We acknowledge the global challenges for manufacturers to suddenly um, have to meet the, the demand for billions of doses. The world usually produce around three to five billion doses annually. Now with COVID-19, the pressure is huge. This quantity is now being re required to increase three to five fold. However, it is unfair, I believe, that some high income countries are looking to vaccinate their entire populations while others, and particularly including most in our region, are struggling to reach a significant proportion of at-risk population. We are concerned that while COVAX delivery have enabled many African countries to roll out vaccinations, the slowing pace of vaccine supply that we are now seeing risks widening the gap between the world vaccinated and the unvaccinated populations. The momentum that have started must be kept up to widen the scope of COVID-19 vaccination beyond the uh, high-risk group that have been prioritized by many uh, countries. For this to be achieved, it is important to make vaccine equity a reality. Through the COVAX facility, we are exploring ways of increasing vaccine equity. One possible solution is by collaborating with high-income countries that have surplus vaccine stocks to share their doses. 